Hello there, and welcome to my laboratory. My name is Dr. Kleiner, and I'd like to give you a quick tour of the facility, as well as show you some of the important inventions and discoveries I'm working on right now. So, come along. The first thing I'd like to show you is the teleporter. As we speak, one of my lab assistants is on the other side, preparing to be transported here. We've been having some difficulties, but I believe this should work. Here we go. Uh, wait, that's not... Oh, thank God. This is a miracle. I was just in Iraq. First there was a car bomb, and then a bunch of terrorists came out of nowhere and started gunning down all of us. Thank God you somehow brought me here or else I'd be dead like everyone else. Oh, you're welcome, and sorry for bringing you here. It was an accident. Uh, I'll just send you back on your way then. Wait, no, I'll die. Toodaloo. Here's a project I've been working on for a very long time. In this beaker is a new breakthrough. A cure for cancer. At last, this terrible disease will be eradicated once and for all. Hey. Me, <laughs> me, <laughs> bitch. Shit. No. All the research is lost. Damn you, Magnuson. Damn you. Don't worry about Magnuson. He's just a bully. Now, let's forget about him and take a look at the main core, the source of all the power in this facility. These days, using renewable energy is very important to everyone, so that's why I created a core that runs on the ultimate untapped resource. Can you guess what it is? Yes, of course, you've got it. It's child labor. No one has as much energy as a small child. Ah, my legs. My underdeveloped legs. <laughs> Keep on cuddling. What do you want from me? It's been weeks since my last meal. Well, I hope you're enjoying your tour so far. I hope Magnuson didn't scare you too much. He really is quite a nuisance. Especially ever since he created that Magnuson device. I don't know why he even goes to the trouble of calling it a device. All it can do is explode. Anyway, if you don't mind me, I'm going to have a little lunch. This baked potato will do nicely. Oh no! I forgot to take the tinfoil off! It's creating a rift in time! Ah! Oh. Today is one of the greatest days. Why? In this, this is my graduation. Many students who have put in countless hours into their work. The worst Today day of my life! Hey, Kleiner, I theorize you suck more than a black hole. Me! <laughs> and you're so gay! <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that. That was a difficult time for me. But I know just what to do to wipe that smack off to. Dr. Magnuson's face. Build a robot to destroy his research. I don't normally put time into researching weapons, but you have pushed me too far, Magnuson. Your mission is to destroy Dr. Magnuson's lab. Robot, activate! Oh, Jesus, do I have to? What? What are you watching? I'm watching Friends. It's the greatest. Oh, by the way, I'm going to business school. Uh, no! My heart condition! Sorry about that. I seem to be getting off topic. Enough about my personal life. I want to show you something. Now, in uh, every research lab, you have a lot of leftover medical waste. A lot of... mistakes. What, I just like staying here or something? Okay, once it's gonna start. So, uh, you know, once I'm gonna go- OH MY GOD! In that 
that case, I simply drop the unwanted material down this chute. I'm not sure where it goes, but for me, it's problem solved. <laughs> In the winter, of course, we simply drop the unwanted waste into the incinerator. And let me tell you, <laughs> with the amount of medical waste I produce, we never have to pay a cent for heating. I wonder who that is? Me. Oh, hey, I just realized I was being a total dick the other day, and I just wanted to apologize. Me. Oh, how unexpected. So I think from now on, we're going to be cool, right? Oh, goody. Hey, would you like a stick of my gum, buddy? Why, sure. Here you go. This is pretty good. <laughs> I like my new invention, genetic mutation gum. Later, queer. <laughs> I knew that Magnuson was up to no good. Luckily, I have a solution for this. I'll just make a clone of myself using DNA from before I was mutated. Well, I guess there's really no point in having two of us now, is there? And since you look like that... You're under arrest for possession of child pornography. Here's some right here, sir. Man, what? Man, no, me, me, me. Excellent. And here you are for your trouble. <laughs> oh, it was no trouble at all. <laughs> I'm very satisfied with this business transaction. <laughs> I got you, Magnuson, and now I'm going to go home and build a time machine just so that I can constantly go back in time and witness this moment over and over again.